Hey buddy, this is Steven, and could call myself the QC game. We are back for Nakama V3, killing Harmony. I know it's strange for why I want to come back to play it. It's been almost like a month, so I need to get back to like a mojo stuff going on here and trying to beat finish it. I mean it's almost like almost the end of the year, so can I I I was hoping I could finish it at the end of this year, but I don't think I cannot. <laughs> Sadly, I weren't able to do something like that happening. But anyways, I don't even remember. I think we done exploring around here. I think the only thing we did bump it is something to do with our the weird stuff going on, like they remember something. Like uh like they got their memories back. Which is really strange and that's how this stuff goes. They're trying to recollect like what really happened or what did they remember. The only explanation they know is it's like something about the ultimate hunt. Which, okay, that's how that happened, but still, it makes no sense since Rental is the only one who knows about the ultimate hunt. Maybe it's something to do for like, they're not the same or something? I don't know, someone who can be relatable as it is, like, um, depending on someone special. Like, Rental doesn't have any ultimate talent to begin with, but sadly, on the other hand, he's dead. So we have, like, no explanation or what's the mystery behind Rental in the first place, so. It's kind of really sad, so... But anyways, we well, better just go along with the story then. I think it just found well, something happened that night. Like, what did those Malakas be doing? I think... I don't know, I need to look back. Like, let's see what they happened, so beyond what we left out last time. And, yep, yeah, it's the... This weird tablet. That's... Wasn't even there before last time. I guess it might be the one that cubs. You delivered it to us. Maybe there's something there for like special help. I had to feel this must be a new motive for us. So let's see what this store for us. When did this get here? It looks like a monopad, but it's not. It says Cubs Pad on the back of a fucking fine print. Okay, weird. You should call it monopad, not nah, Cubs Pad. It really weird, and it also looks big. Kid friendly or something. I don't know. Because they're painting the colors or something. Huh? Cups pack? When I touched the screen, the device came to lit life and start playing the video. Okay. And I feel this must be due to the new motive for us. Oh boy, this is something happened from from the first dong around, but like there's a the video for us, so they give us a CD and they're showing the footage so one of those like where there's a friend or family members and they tend to do it for like if they won't make it they all gone. Like what will happen? Well we'll see. Alright! What the by popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Kaita Momoto's motive video? I thought it was like, gonna be sweeties, but uh no? What? Who's the most important person? in your life. And now, without further ado... Kaito. Why Kaito, though? Is this his grandparents? Kaito Momota! The ultimate astronaut! Okay, but why... Well, trying to show Shuichi to Kaito's motive? Thanks to his exceptional talent, this young man is already an astronaut trainee! Wow! Our team has managed to score an exclusive interview with his grandparents. How the hell did you get that? They miss their grandson terribly and hope he returns to them safe and sound. So, what? The kind of been raised by their grandparents? What about his actual real parents then? But don't just take my word for it. Let's hear it straight from the source. You're not seriously thinking like they just take hostages or something. Kaito. As long as you're alive, I don't need anything else. No matter what happens, you must live. You must never give up. Please, live on, for our sakes too. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. Okay, but why? Will Kaito be able to fulfill his grandparents' wish? Ah, yes. One more thing. Shortly yeah. after this interview wrapped, these old farts suffered an unfortunate accident. Which now I'm gonna be both us like you probably kidnapped them and took him to someplace else. 
what kind of accident? It's a secret! Find out for yourself! <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like how this turns out. Huh? What was that? Was this supposed to be a goblin to Shuichi? It was supposed to be given to some specific person, was it not? Why is it Shuichi is the only one have Kaitos? Unless everything's all mixed up. So if it, if it might be whether the cups are acting really stupid, they didn't even know where to put, or they couldn't just put the label where it belonged to. I mean, seriously, can they just leave put the label to like who they belong to? A motive video. Could this be another one of Monokuma's motives? Even if it were, why do I have Kaito's motive? No. Ah, uh, I'll think about it this stuff later. I should hurry to Kaito. Are you sure about it? I ran out into the hallway on mission to find Kaito. Are you sure can we tell him about that? Would that be possible? They were trying to give him like the advantage, was it not? Uh, so what, just go knock on Kaito's room then? We shake your hands, I press the door and bell. Hmm. No answer? Did he already leave? In that case, he must be the dining hall. I'll try there. Okay. Just head out. Unless everybody else it might be a went to the dining hall as well. Um, oh, the only one left is Kibo there. What's he still doing there? Kibo! Kibo! Have you seen Kai? Shuichi! Impeccable timing, Shuichi! I was on my way to get you! You're on a way to trying to get Shuichi? Is this something very important? Huh? You were? Please! Everyone's gathering in the dining hall! Please come right away! I'll go get everyone else! Okay? Everyone? Is this about the videos? I'm pretty sure everybody much it themselves. I should go to the dining hall. Kaito must be there. Yeah, the same feeling. There, He's already there, so... Well, take a shortcut then. Um, Just to make sure that there's like no ma little bit of one somewhere hidden around here. Hopefully. Hmm. Kaito's not here either? I thought for sure he'll be here. Um Hey, has anyone seen Kaito? <laughs> you seem in a panic. Over the cup's pad, if I'm not mistaken. So everybody knew then. Huh? What? Uh, You're not the only one who got one Shuichi! Uh-oh! We all did! Yes. We have all been given motive videos. However, they have been mixed up. Yeah, I get the feeling like all the mouthpads are completely messed up. <laughs> and I don't know why they got to be on Marco's fault, and Marco was not gonna like it. Huh? Mixed up? Um, when I woke up, there was a cuss pen in my room, but the video on it wasn't even mine. Maybe. Smoogie, we should discuss this once everyone is here. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Yeah, right. Uh, um, what do you mean, once everyone is here? Yes. Kaito and Kibo went to gather everyone else so that we may discuss our plans. Of what? They're trying to take advantage of us or something? Yes. Shall I wait for everyone then? Until then, I can provide you with a little massages. Um, don't think not. And there's everyone else. Um. Thank you for waiting. We gather everyone else. My word. After I was about to find experience one of Kirumi's femme massages. You do not laugh to finish this discussion. What is it? What do you mean? Are you also suggesting that I cannot read the air? Well... So what is it? Why do you drag us here? Come on, man. Didn't I tell you? It's about the cops' pads. Monokuma gave us a new motive. We can't not talk about it. Okay, why you say not again? Almost says that we can talk about it. Is that so? That thing that looks like another monopad? That was the motive? Huh? Maki, haven't you watched the video on the cuffs pad yet? I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Okay. No, I ignore it because I figured it was something stupid. Uh... That actually really 
courageous in a weird sort of way. Hey! You know how to speak up, but this is the point, so you should at least listen. So? So, why are these videos? Hmm. No doubt there are more motives for Manakuma, but why are they all mixed up? Honest! Yeah! Gonta Kasumuki's video! Uh, be sure you spoil yourself. Hey. No! Don't say it, Gonta! Huh? Hmm? Ah, uh, uh, I heard it. I see. So, Gonta has my video. We're gonna be bad. Or we're not supposed to say something because Manakuma is watching us. What happened? Huh? Gonta not supposed to say it? Who yeah. oh, ever cares? We're gonna exchange him anyway, right? I don't know about that. If we do return back to where it belongs, would that mean just like they have not know what they're uh, they're trying to get motivated or something? No. No, we cannot exchange them. What? We can't. Why? Why not? The videos of the most important people in our lives. No. And that's precisely why we cannot exchange them. Listen closely. Although we do not know why our motives were mixed up. As long as we don't exchange them, we don't have to see our motives at all. Then... So it's better to just ignore them. Well, why not just don't watch it then? <laughs> It'll be strange enough it is, but I guess that's the only way we can do it. Yes. Yes. At least that is what I think. Mm -hmm. That's true. If we ignore them, then we can all we'll have a motive. I'm against that. God dang, Ryama! Why what's your weird, uh, uh, next heartless expression face of yours? Why? Huh? I guessed it. Why? If you see that video, it turned to a motive, right? <laughs> That's why I want to see it. Is there something very important to you, Ryama? Uh, um. You do? Always messing You were saying something like that before, that you don't plan on surviving. It might not bad to you, whether you get killed or not, but... Dumbass. We're different! We all want to live! Wake up already! You're, you're like some zombie, running around with no will to live! <laughs> no will to live, huh? Hmm. <laughs> if that's how you see me, then so be it. Not cool. But I got no plans to change my opinion. That's just not cool. Dang it, Bioma! That's really be harsh, don't you think? What? What did you say? Hmm. Who cares? We all just state his opinion. Because? Actually, I feel the same way as him. Do you? Do you, Kokichi? Kokichi? Are you trying to cause us trouble again? That's so mean. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't care about killing or dying. <laughs> but I think it'd be better if we don't cooperate with each other. Actually, we definitely shouldn't cooperate with each other. Why not? Why? We shouldn't cooperate. Why not? Because. Think back to all of Monokuma's actions so far. Whenever we tried to work together, Monokuma would retaliate with the plan to make us suffer. It happened when Kaede went to cooperate. And again, with these motor videos, right? <laughs> Which means. The more we try to cooperate, the more he'll try to make us suffer. Then... You're saying that if we do not rally together, we will not be made to suffer? I'm disappointed. That's why I had no choice but to screw with you guys. But you ingrates don't... didn't even notice. That's... Eh, uh, you're not lying to us right now. I hope not. Well, you know. Whether I'm lying or not, what I'm saying is still true. But the way you say now, but still think you're lying. You know. Anyway, we should force ourselves to cooperate. Let's just all do our own thing. So, I agree with your suggestion. It's because we're trying to cooperate that Malakum was making us suffer. But what about everything we went through? What was the point of Kaede sacrificing herself? So that means. Anyway. I'm warning you all for your sake. Let's just exchange our mother videos instead of cooperating with each other. Incomprehensible. I cannot comprehend that logic. See? Well, now that I say I won't cooperate, I can't afford to be seen with you losers. Come on, Gota. Let's go. 
Why you bring that dragon along with Gonta? Huh? What? Gonta? Too? Don't you dare drag him to Gonta, I swear to god. Because? He's just a big, innocent man. We promise to think of a way to get everyone to exchange their modem videos. Remember? So that means... Anyway, keep on me, I'll hit you up later when I'm feeling hungry. Huh? Wait! Did Gota make promise? We just got the start of a vape. Started a new day, has it not? Oh god, he's just trying to use Gonta to make an advantage because he think because he was stupid, isn't he? Actually, why can't you tell when he was lying, Gonta? Yeah. Quit screwing around. Our sake. Yeah, right. I had it with this lies. Well. So are we all done here? Then I'm leaving. Kira <sighs> me. Bring me my dinner later. Hey. I'm in it too. Hey! Wait up, Ryoma! Don't forget, we're all stronger to get out of here alive. So don't get in our way. Jeez. I got no intention of getting in your own way. I never do something so uncool. By the way. Kirumi, could I get you to clean my room either? What is wrong with asking Kirumi a favor? I know the fact that she may be able to be me and all, but jeez. Take it down a notch for a bit. Actually, you guys are relying on killing me too much. I do not agree. I do not mind. Seven others is the true desire of any maid. Huh. You shouldn't spoil people though, especially degenerate males. In any event. Our cooperation is the number one factor of our suffering, is it? <laughs> How I wondered, would this turn out? Observe with great interest. I hope not. I shall Oh, and Kirumi. I shall have you record my observation. I trust you do you two do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm certainly not gonna hang out with a bunch of chumps like you. That being said, guys, I'll go back and take an ass and get some sleep. Kill me! Take an adventure from me, okay? Um. Wow. How much is everyone going to depend on Kirumi? My work life has increased significantly. This calls for a more tactical approach. Dang! How are you able to do this that much when you do a lot of requests? That's be really hard for you. Come on, you can't spoil them! They just turn into ungrateful leeches! Huh? Wait, what's wrong, Yubiko? Are you hungry? What? Then, how about we eat together? Kill me! Run to hot pot, please! Why? You just said that. Um. Tenko, you giving her more work. Himiko? What's the matter, Himiko? You don't like Top Hot Pot? We don't know, you don't know what Top Hot Pot is. Uh. You don't get it, Tenko. Himiko isn't hungry. I know, because I have the all money at to her. <laughs> Whatever! Let's just enjoy some Top Hot Pot. Jeez. Jeez, you're so careless, Tenko. Wait, are we really having it? I wish this is gonna happen. In the end, those of us that stay behind had truck hot pot for a quickie take for unbreakfast. I wish they should just have a truck hot pot. Seriously. Even I have no idea what the heck is truck hot pot. I know the part about uh, what hot pot is exactly. It's more like you just boil some like meat and vegetables, some tofu on it, and, and make it all itself and um, warm like that. That's how it usually goes. We also promised not to show each other the motives. So, are we having a free time then? I got a feeling we're gonna have a free time for a bit. It's still there. The path is still there. Mm. Ugh, too much breakfast. Anyway, it seems like everyone's want to do their own. What can we do to work better together as a group? I wish I could do something on my own, but that's impossible. If I screw up, I'll just like Kaede all over again. It's no use. I did it again. I can't keep this dot out of my head. Can't stand around doing nothing. I promise her. <coughs> of course, we got free time. Well, I wonder what we can have for today. Maybe go and hang out with the uh, real one then? Hold on. Let me pull up a map and see who's there. Um. 
Well, we almost in the courtyard. In the casino area. Wait, why is Viyama's in the casino then? Well, let's see what's going on. Wait, jeez, I gotta interact that fast. Boy, they're just trying to get to the entrance, but I just click on it. And that's Ryama. This is moment for a swap. As long as we don't sort them out, no murders will happen. Or so keep on set. But... Somebody might take action because they want to see the motive. Somebody? Even you? Maybe I should stop him. Yeah. Hmm. Don't get it wrong. I don't fall in so low that I do something like that. Even if a murderer says something like that, no one believe it. Spend some time with Vyoma. I've went playing around in these slots then. Uh, what can? What did I remember to give him exactly? Did I give him the tracksuit or something? No. Oh yeah, I remember I gave him the sports towel. Is it a perfect for summer, wasn't it? Just then. <laughs> None of good will come from making me happy, you know. My bad. Sorry, I can't show how happy I am. I'm really grateful for this kid. Hey, hey Shuichi. I'm not going to talk about Titus anymore. Huh? What? Why? What happened? <laughs> I know what you're up to. You just want me to play tennis again. Uh, how would you know about that? I do remember the last time I hang out with you. <laughs> I thought so. Hey. Listen up. I'm no longer the ultimate tennis pro. You still are. That's just a show of who I used to be. I do win my past. But Did you really, Ryoma? What? Huh? Hey. I don't think it's so easy to throw away the burdens we carry. It's hard to see what you carry on your own back. Even if you want to throw it all away, I'm sure some is still there, clinging to you. Something you can't quite get rid of, like a coffee stain on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Your coffee stain? What kind of example is that? No. Ah, uh, well, my uncle used to say that all the time. About he's saying about stuff like coffee stains. He told me that detectives should always look for the stain on people. That's how you find the truth. That's how my uncle did it anyway. I didn't know you have an uncle. <laughs> hmm. So that's something you got from your uncle. Well, I guess it works after all. I bet your uncle's a your good detective. I knew it. There's something you still carry. It's a tennis. No. No, it's not tennis. It's something that should never happen to tennis. But I gathered my resolve and did it. So what, you just gonna decide to give up? That's... Resolve? What do you mean by that? What, what... Nothing. We were talking about coffee stains on my back, though. Right. Sorry, but I got nothing back there. If there was one regret I was carried around, it'll be her. Her? Is it your girlfriend? Huh? Who? Yeah. There was someone I promised my future to. Huh? You mean like a lover? I was thinking. <laughs> Isn't that surprising I have a lover? Hmm. I used to that reaction. Or is it something else? Uh, but you said had. Past tense? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't tell me. Is she dead? I met her in America when I was studying tennis abroad. You met her in America? That's interesting. At the time, I didn't believe in love. Uh, that was a joke. Honestly, I don't know how we found love, but... She's not a part of this world anymore. Uh, meaning she's dead then. I don't really feel safe for Ryoma. No. So, she... Yeah. Yeah. She died. Ah, oh, dang it! I wanna hug you, Ryoma! I wanna hug you so hard, even though you may be small and all. I'm not sure how weak you are. Like, are you really light? Even though you may be light and all this, I can, like, pick you up and hug you. <laughs> That'll be weird. Why? I'm... 
Sorry. How she died? Maybe she died from sickness? <laughs> I selected everything away. It didn't matter if we loved each other. Uh. But she was so important that you wanted to get it together. So why? Don't you get it? She would have been unhappy being with me. No, not just her. Anyone. What? That's why you shouldn't bother with me anymore. Got it? Ryoma. See ya. Dang it. You only got two parts. I want to learn more about you, Ryoma. I don't care if he's if one of him dies, I'm going to scream out loud. I walk watch Ryoma walk away stubbornly and return to my room. He's a bitter jerk, isn't it? So what comes next then? Still there. There's still some time left. Can't sit around and do s nothing. Okay. Uh, any is Ryama still there? Please tell me Ryama's still there. Why is Ryama with Maki? I get it because she's still might be in the research lab, but or oh, something. Well, we can't even try to see it, can it? Yeah, she's been standing in her lab this whole time. What has she been doing? I have nothing to say to you. Go away. There's nothing I can do. Why you can't be on guard? Are you hiding something, Maki? There's nothing you don't want to see yet. Jeez. I'm not planning to stop you guys. Cooperation like Okichi is. So I won't get in your way. Should I hang with Ryama for a while? Yes. Yeah. Fine. Do what you want. And I gotta give you a towel. <laughs> I spent some time with Ryama. Ryama and I grew a little closer today. I'm gonna give her another towel. I mean Ryama's gonna say something like, Why are you giving me that towel? You give me a dirt time on the road there, buddy. Because I need to get more touch with you! Hmm, a good way to come from making me happy, you know. My bad. Sorry, just show how happy I am. I'm very grateful for this, kid. Hey, Shuichi. You know what I'm going to say, right? That's... I could venture a guess. You don't want me talking to you. Don't you get it? Exactly. Like I said before, don't bother with me. I'm going to try and get to you no matter what. But that's not an order, is it? <laughs> hmm. True. I got no right ordering you around. So what business do you have with a guy who threw away his own lover? Because I can't imagine that you would do something heartless, Ryoma. You must have your reasons. Something to do with the mafia? So why do you do why do you do it, Ryoma? You really want to hear about it? I'd like to hear it from you. You don't have to answer it. Is it dangerous to tell me? Should I push him too hard or something? I have no idea. I got the same feeling like if I pick it wrong. I guess it's just saying being honest or something or like trying to listen to it so I want to hear from you. Okay. I'd like to hear it from you. That face tells me you're not interested as a detective. If that's the case, I got no reason to not to answer it. <laughs> it started with an invitation. It was the underground tennis competition held on the mafia own luxury liner. They have their own tennis competition on underground. Is that really actually a thing? Huh? An underground tennis competition? They were gambling on the matches. It was just a vulgar hobby of the rich. That just sounds really weird. Do mafia still the actual thing in here? I have no idea. And they are like when you uh just like what happened when you play Yakuza, was it? I don't know. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to get involved with, but they would let up. I thought I'd teach them a lesson by showing up and ruin things. 
gambling on tennis. There's a niche for everything. Jeez. They call it a tournament, but it was a, just a bunch of fixed it matches. I didn't like that. So I pretended to go along with their plan. And at the last second, I crushed the opponent I was meant to lose against. Huh? What? But if your opponent was with the Mafia, that would mean... Yeah. Yeah. Mafiosos get really upset when their reputation's ruined. So more like a leader doesn't like it. Back then, I was naive. Too naive. It never crossed my mind that they massacred my family for revenge. No. Massacre? Oh, don't tell me. They didn't just he killed his parents. Yeah. My lover was safe, but I didn't know when they get to her. That's why I had her run somewhere far away. But it was no use. They found her and killed her anyway. Ah, so I see. So it wasn't sick there, but she was been killed by the Mafia then. I was the only one who escaped the Mafia. But even then, just barely. Huh? I don't believe it! I shouldn't have let her go. I should have kept her by my side and protected her. If I'd done then, then... At least she wouldn't have been alone. Well... You know what happened after that? Right? That's... You... Massacred them for revenge. Oh, I see. Uh, it's not Rayama's family then, so he's more likely he he killed everyone then. Yeah. And that's why I was thrown in prison. It's more than I would have ever expected from Rayama. Jeez. See, you shouldn't have asked. I'm just a helpless fool. No, but. You still are who you are to be, Ryoma. Unable to think of a response, I watch Ryoma walk away and return to my room. I wonder what comes next. Like I have a stink feeling that something's bad is gonna happen for sure. No telling how, but we'll see. The pad is still there. Oh great, had another announcement. What the heck? Um, are you having a cooking show? It's a weird thing if I pull up, but while I'm doing this, uh, the nighttime announcement with why are you in the middle of doing this? Like, why? What are you applying to make there? This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It's now 10 p.m. The latest special in our exclusive Molokan Kitchen inside the dining hall is. I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. What the heck? Grease and oil does a body good. Spicy kimchi, chicken, and rice bowl. Um, what the heck? This is something. Um, ingredients: we pair a fried chicken, one cluster of eggs, one pound of spicy kimchi. One half of mayonnaise, and I didn't see that part. It's just about rice, but it's how the heck are you able to get made this much exactly? And also, this will look really tasty. Except about that, I put too much mayonnaise on it. And why I put kimchi on it? It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. You didn't say specifically what to put in, like, like how much I want to put in it, or how much you added. Also, you had to put like. We were supposed to make the deep fried chicken, is it not? Unless they just got the like frozen products. Damn, what is up with mom and dad's face? Okay, this is gonna be weird, some kind of manga style then. This here is for monocups only. We ain't sharing any with you. I'd be a lot better if you had like make something else with it. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? So long, I want to eat that greasy food, even if they threatened to kill me. But anyway, nighttime already, huh? When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Kayete? I ask myself questions like that. Because no matter how I think about it, what happened to her is my fault. What's with ringing the bell? 
Huh? Is someone here? The toilet bell's ringing. Who could that be? Either Kaito or something. Yeah, I, I get a feeling. Yo! Hey! Come hang out with me for a sec! Huh? Huh? Now? But it's night time! Come on, man. There's no rule about walking around at night time, right? Huh. I'll be way in the courtyard. Why in the courtyard? Wait! Uh, wait! But Kaito wasn't listening. He turned quickly, walked away. Hmm. The courtyard at this time of night? What does he want? Could it be about the Mona video? I have? But how does he know? Wait, should I even go at all? Something might happen. Yes, I said you're thinking Kaikoto's gonna kill you, aren't you? you you'd be paranoid. Look, Gio, why have you been doing this up tonight? Oh. Oh! Are you going nice, Suichi? Okay. Uh, yeah, Kaito asked me to come meet him. Ah, uh, yes, I saw him near the Wisterius. So it was you who he was waiting for. Wisterius? What is that? <laughs> but having a secret meeting at a time such as this, do you tend to exchange motives? No. I don't know. Maybe he just asked me to meet him. I don't know why. <laughs> I was merely joking. However, it would have been understandable for one to come to that conclusion. Please keep that in mind. Well, well, since I have witnessed you here, I suggest you avoid taking any foolish action. In event, good night. You sound very mysterious. Not even more worried. Something could happen to me. You just be paranoid again. Just calm down there. No matter how much you try and think about it, you can feel like you're getting yourself worse. Here we go, what are you doing this at night? Yeah. Yeah. That's you, sweetie. Hmm. What are you doing up at this hour? Uh, yeah. Well, just thinking. Hmm. It's pretty late now. Hmm. I think I'll sleep well tonight. If I knew it would be like this, I would have had her undo my brainwashing a long time ago. Huh? Your brainwashing? Hmm. Well, good night. I don't like how this sounds. What was that about? She looked happier than usual. And what that happened? Is she planning to do something? Who knows? And, uh, and what have you been doing here in this courtyard? Sweetie, what are you all do at this hour? Uh, 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 well, I have something to do. What are you doing? I... Oh, I was just praying to the Torah and... Yeah, yeah to be signed for tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow? Is there something special going on? Bayonara. Good night, Sweetie. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Is she planning something? First, Himiko, like something like, need to do something. Now, Angie said you can see it tomorrow. Like, what are they planning? Well, here's Kaido then. Yo. Oh, good, you came. Uh, um, What's wrong, Kaito? Why do you call me out here all of a sudden? I mean. See, since I was chosen as an astronaut trainee, I train every day, but. I haven't done any training here at all. At this rate, I'll get all week, so. Got it. Join me, Suichi! Wait, you went to exercise? Huh? What? Why me? Alright! Doesn't matter! Let's get started! Take off your coat! Wait! Wait! Why? Shut up! It's not complaining! Just do 50 push-ups! I don't know how it happened, but before I knew it... Wait, how this is it? Wow! That's a bit of something here. So did you get to exercising? Doing this at night? Very weird. I was doing push up with Kaito in the courtyard in the middle of the night. Why do I have to do this? Now's not the time to use your head. Now's the time to move your body. Why it feels like Shuichi hasn't been doing exercise or something? But he never done it himself. 
What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. My arms are giving out. Hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. What the? That logic made no sense. Man, he's been squishing painful already. Time I managed 50 push-ups, and Bonnie was spent. Her claws on the grass, panting. Dude, <sighs> 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 that's pathetic, man. Getting tired from only 50 push-ups? Says you! You have no idea! 50 push-ups takes a hard time to do it! Got it. Well, that's that for now. We'll pick up back up tomorrow. Huh? We're doing this again tomorrow? Huh? Oh well, yeah, you gotta do a daily train every day, right? But... But why do I gotta do this, Kaito? I mean... Because this training is for you. Huh? For me? <laughs> when I look at you, I can't help but get frustrated. I ask myself, is the one Kaede entrust her wish to really this weak? I mean... You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Kaede died because you made a wrong deduction? Do you think you killed her? Uh, okay. Yes, I do, Kaito. Because of my detective work, she set up that. Yes. What are you saying? That was all her fault. Listen up. Her sins and her regrets are hers alone. You only make her worry about you if you try to bear all those by yourself. I. No. I know that! I already know that! You'd have to tell me! Ah, oh, Suiji's crying. But... I can't help but Kaito. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I could have done. It's no use. I'm... scared. I try hard not to be. But I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about... The pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's why I'm afraid of. All right. Oh god, now you make me feel crying, Suichi. Try and be very emotion around here. God, god dang it. Oh my god! So that's your enemy, huh? Huh? Enemy? I mean. Well, you gotta deal with your worries yourself. I can't give you an answer for those. But. But you know. At least you know you're weak. As long as you can admit that, Let's do it. then you'll be okay. You just gotta train and get stronger. Huh? Huh? Listen up. Listen up. Training is the only way to overcome your weakness. But ah, uh, but in my case, getting stronger is more of a mental concept. Don't worry about it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? It's not making any sense. But maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Uh, okay. All right, Kaito. I'll try. No. I, I mean, will you let me? I want to train with you, Kaito, to get closer to defeat my enemy. Well said. Well said, bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Bro, huh? This is the first time he called me that. <laughs> Give me a nickname for like that. But uh, but uh, perhaps you should be trained too, Kaito. You thought big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? I've been trained since you reached the one who had 50 push-ups. Why ain't you at 20? Jeez. Jeez, you even notice that? I guess you are. You want to be detected after all. <laughs> That's not like one person who could have said like, I guess you are. Something. But you know, the goal will just fit the anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm few short. Well, that's not fair at all. Does Kaito and I begin training regimen? I don't really know how, why Kaito is so concerned about me. I suppose I can't trust someone again, just this time. I decided to trust Kaito. I decided to trust Kaito and his craziness. <laughs> Sure, whatever you said there. Hmm. Ah, 
I'm so tired. I work out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted. But it's good, kind of exhausted. Hmm. Alright. For now, sleep. I didn't have any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I fell into deep, relaxing sleep. At the time, I didn't realize just how horrific it can be to trust someone in this place. Like when I had a bad feeling about this. Anyway. Uh why well, I just feel like this is the, almost like the scenes reference I saw. I think this came from John, wasn't it? Except I thought that there's Monokuma. Like I think that the monster ones were like from Tanga Banana, wasn't it? Uh, why is he speaking? What are you looking at? Who are you guys? Are you dead or something? You might be thinking this killing game is taking forever. Someone just died already. Well, that thing takes a long time, does it not? That's what you're thinking, right? Man, you guys are messed up. But I feel the same way too. Jeez, why won't someone just die? Watching people li live and die is really the best entertainment. Some people say, what do you think life is? I'll say life is wetness. When you die, you're quickly forgotten because there's tons of replacements out there. But if you die in a dead game, everyone knows who you are. That itself is a form of happiness. <laughs> who will find happiness next? Heart pounding with excitement. Yeah, what do you say there, buddy? Well, whatever you're saying. I'm wondering what's the next action gonna come next. Let's do it normal. Are you feeling down? Is it because of what happened last night? That after you try and eat all this weird rice thing or whatever. Please official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Nom nom. It's now 8 a.m. Time to wake up. Nom nom. Wait, are you eating something? Dumbass! What are you eating? Now a second. Are they eating? It is okay. What do you mean? What's okay? What are they eating exactly? It is now 8 a.m. It is now 8 a.m. Everybody wake up. Unless you are dead. Then disregard. Let us all be positive and excited today. I thought for sure it was like they were asleep or something. Ah, my body hurts. My muscles were still sore from working out. But because of that, hmm. I had a good night's sleep. For the first time in a while. I had even the first full night's sleep since I got here. So the soreness was nice, in a way, that doesn't sound nice at all. All right. All right, breakfast. Eating a good breakfast became part of my daily routine. Well, see, see, see. Some people might be in there while well, about to head out. Oh, Ryama. Oh, Shuichi. Uh, Ryama, I head to the dining hall. Hmm. If I went there the way I am now, I just ruined the moon. Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. And I know that it's, this is going to sound cliche, but... Okay. You shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. <laughs> good things, huh? But good things are when your wishes, hopes, or dreams fulfilled, right? What does that have to do with someone with like me with no wishes, hopes, or wish dreams? Uh, um, but more importantly, more importantly, did something happen to you? Huh? Huh? Sheesh. You hadn't noticed? You look completely different from yesterday. Why? Is it because of how I changed? Hm. It's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. Hm. Your face looks more dependable. We my speech was low, and melancholy. He turned to walk away. Okay. Stop focusing on the past. I guess that's 
It lets you change something. Who knows? Hmm. Well, I'm here. What's he doing at the courtyard? Hey! Hey, Shuichi! I mean, Pooichi! Okay, why you call her nickname? There's something I gotta ask you! Why did she quit herself? You ever heard about back items in casino? What back items? Huh? Back items? What are those? He? <laughs> you wanna know more? You do it right! The bow down to me, worm! Wait! Where is this coming from? Listen up! Last time, when you created a bow to me, it felt so good that I had to put on dry panties. Um, weird, but okay. So do it again! Come on! Come on, hurry up! Make with the bow already! Uh, um... Sorry, I'm not gonna do that. See you later. What? Huh? Wait a minute! You don't need the bow! Just listen to what I gotta say! Then what is it then? She just wants my attention. Well, I do kind of want to know what she's talking about. I suppose I'll listen to her. You're right. All right, I'll hear you out. What is a back item? Um, so, if you have a certain item, you can play a back game sponsored by Monokuma himself. You can be trading at a higher rate. And if you do well, you can earn quite the fortune. A back game? I had a bad feeling about this. Wonder what that back item is. If I remember correctly. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Is that item? This medal. It commemorates the founding of the casino after all. Oh, I think I have one, is it? It's one of those tokens in the case, was it? What was that? Oh, what the Really? You made a discovery that even I, the gorgeous girl genius, Mio Iruma, couldn't find. How could I be best by the better of Obedus? Go for a mana mana machine. You could get one of your items, did you not, Mew? No. You came to me. <laughs> I'm not coming to you, was a good idea. What would you be a detective and all? You managed to track down that metal coin like I knew you would. Huh? I'm so awesome. That being said. Let's bring that metal coin to casino. Would you like to go with me, Rumor? Sure, why not? Maybe this is a special event. I'm a bit worried about Monokuma, but I'm more worried about what will happen if we ignore it. I'll see what happens, just in case. <laughs> just as I predicted! Did they think get excited for casino game? Just like boys get excited for holes! Out of my way! Come to the casino once you're done eating! And don't forget to bring that medal! Uh, okay. Uh, got it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll finish eating. Okay, then... I'm hesitant. I don't want to ignore it if it has the potential to be a problem. It's okay. Right? And uh, for that for sure... Anyways... Uh, what's the Maggie doing on here? Oh! Good morning, Suichi! Hey! Good morning, Sumugi. Are you headed to the dining hall? Yeah, well, not because anyone told me to or anything. I just felt like it. That reminds oh, me. Oh, that reminds me. Have you gone to the casino, Shuichi? I found myself there or something. i never seen the most of the game they have there. Could it be? Do you think Malakuma made them? If so, I regret getting hooked on one of them. Hmm. You're hooked on one, huh? It's plain to see. I'm just playing confident in my gaming skills. Would you like to play together sometime? Are you a gamer yourself? Just like Chiaki, oh god. Think about that, it reminds me of Chiaki. Uh, uh, sure, if we get the chance. Uh, oh, sorry, we should stop talking about stuff like this and go to Danny Hong only. I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay then. Anyway, we do a quick travel to the Danny Hong. Seriously, they need to cut all this grass down. It's very annoying. According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered today. I suppose so. You can see that without doing any calculations. Jeez. Jeez. What's everyone else doing? It seems as if... You see, Maki has chosen to spend all her time inside her ultimate research lab. I'm not sure what she is doing in there. 
but she had no intention of leaving. What was that? What did the ultimate child caregiver gonna do in her recent life anyway? Well, we wanna know. Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there. That's she's secretly taking care of. Uh, what? Um, she's not some stray dog on the streets raising pups. Um. Ours is a Kokichi and Gonta sneaking around together. Oh god, why you take Dragon Gonta Kokichi? Uh, a couple of virgins sneak around sounds like bad news to me. Hey. Uh, I saw Ryoma on the way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. Hmm. I see. Well, we don't need that guy around here until he's got his head on straight. <laughs> How did the famous Ryoma Hoshi end up like that? What? The famous Ryoma Hoshi? It's because he he was the tennis player, wasn't it? Moving along? What are those two doing? What is that? Um... Um, okay, uh, they're praying. What are they praying for? <laughs> In restream, they all do exactly the same thing, which we really weird. Um, I guess not to Angie then? Um... Hey, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? Rare time. Rain to a tour, of course. Hmm. Rain to a tour. You seriously gonna take a talk along with Angie, Himiko? Huh? Huh? You too, Himiko? Yeah, as long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. No matter what happens, so when trouble lies ahead, my heart will be calm. I'll commit that to my memory. I see. It's escapism. No! She has barely abandoned reality to speak to her. Actually... That is escapism. Is that actually the word? Oh my! Really? I didn't know that. You gotta keep coming! Hey, Angie! Why did she bring my Shimiko? Nyahaha! <laughs> On the contrary, I've done her brainwashing. Hmm. Mm. I was brainwashed before. Back when I didn't feel the presence of Tua. He seems it's too late. Himiko! Himiko! Please get a hold of yourself! You need to face reality! Please! Hey! Himiko! Himiko! Stop it. Stop it. You interrupt me and mess up my calm heart. I... Remember this nightmare reality. I'm in. Oh, my... Insecurities and loneliness. The pain did that. Mimi want to die. Here. She's Tenko. Don't interrupt Timiko while she's playing. Then smile as always, Angie. Wake up to Himiko then. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Angie. You just become like a mother nature. What is up with that? You are so really weird. Yeah. I understand, Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried, but you have no one to confide in, do you? It's okay. You're not alone, Himiko. I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. We have no idea what the tour will be looks like, Angie. Uh, handsome god? Ah! Yeah. What a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared anymore. Thanks, Bituatua. Ah, how wonderful! It all takes to the handsome god. Hey! Huh? What handsome god? Wait, Shimiko! You like handsome men? Why can't it be me? Jeez, Tenko, why is that be so... So in touch with... What? Getting chained number towards Shimiko. You. Are you... Playing for the other team? Uh -huh. Huh? Ooh. What are you talking about? Like that? Jeez, I was, this is this really weird or something? Is this just weird way they should gonna have? Hey. hey, Angie, what did you do to Himiko? Huh? What did I do? Well, I don't know. Give her a word or something. What is the I did something. I did. What did I did? What did I do? Don't be out of it. So stupid. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Ato has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Where is this conversation going? Anyway, what was Atua's message? It concerns me a little. 
Just to keep Tato again then. Hey. Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... Atua said that this academy suffered from the same sin as the outside world. You're unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken? Your desire to leave this place is only worse than your greed. Uh, um... Greed? Like the seven deadly sins? So we can't, so we must cast aside that sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. You. So you're saying we should live here for the rest of our lives? No, no. No, no, that's wrong. How divine! It's not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be for that divine purpose. In other words, you see? we must meet this academy heaven on earth. What? And then? Itori so, a desire to leave will vanish, the killing will cease. That's... Are you being serious right now? Because. This place provides us all with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. Yeah, but trapping them in this academy forever, that's bad enough for this. Punished. What more could you possibly greed? Do not give in to your greed. Oh god, that's way weird. Uh, you said that, NJ. Now you're creeping me out. You may be some religious, but you are very creepy. What? Here we go! Here we go! Do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Tell us the fine message are never wrong. Huh? What? Uh, yep. Here we go with a good girl in the fast learner. And then... Together, we divide a truly divine parent. Yeah. The best plan ever to help us live lives to fulfillment here. The best plan? Hey, yeah. Yumiko! Everyone! Make the best plan happiness! Oh, is that what we talked about last night then? Yeah, it's my excitement. Finally happening! Hey, huh? The Mr. Yumiko Magic Show is finally open! Huh? A magic show? You're gonna plan to do a magic show? How are you gonna do that? <laughs> Don't worry, and message is free. Eh, actually, I guess the mission would just be just miles. But Kiyo's the only one that just have a mouth. He don't have a mask. Over the years, my show has been giving many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now it's the time to demonstrate my powers. It's my magic. My magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted hearts. But, in our current predicament, performing trick, magic trick is quite logical. Stop it. Yeah, don't disturb my concentration. I gotta learn to read the mood already. And it's called a magic show, because I do magic, not tricks. Well, magic show is part of a trick, you know, Himiko. But, I won't dodge. S screw your magic show. I don't get excited about the crap. You're way too excited! Yeah, even if strange generally like how the boots came from you feelings, that's not how it sounds like a... How about that? Yeah. The show opens tomorrow morning! Can't you in after morning announcements? Tomorrow? Whatever strange feelings that tomorrow is gonna be bad is gonna happen. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with the answer vibration! What is that supposed to mean? Say. Surely you mean anticipation. Or have you misunderstood the nature of the show? Well then... Himiko will begin with Pip And I'm supposed to ask others to help too! Bayonara! I can let you guys to help! Nyahaha! <laughs> Bayonara! Nyeh... Farewell! It was strange enough it is, it came due to like... Like disappearing or teleportation magic. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Himiko and Angie left the dining hall. Himiko? H Himiko! What happened to her? Oh dear. <laughs> Fate as a tense that this can be quite terrifying. But there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our multi videos. Come on, man. You only worry about that. I'm worried. Of course. We cannot afford to take Monokuma's motive lightly. But, but everyone who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, right? The fuck you 
Ian Kokichi, Kota Iriyama? No. No, I don't think that's it. Even with these people, there's a low probability of them having each other motor videos. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motor video without seeing their own, their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group like that is likely. True. I see. That is true. Well done. <laughs> Not bad. That's what we detected for you. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I guess we just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for anti Himiko. Uh, give Himiko back. What do you think? For now, let's have some breakfast, shall we? I prepare meals for everyone. Of course, I would deliver meals to those who are not currently present. You don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portions. <laughs> kind of, don't push yourself too hard. I don't know what they do, try and like, eat fast. After I helped the stuff Kaito to his room, I returned to my own. But didn't we do something like go to casino with Mew? Don't we? Don't we not? I should go to the casino. I did promise Mew. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we have to go to the casino. Let's see you guys stuff for us. Okay, everyone is all here. Shuichi. Why not, Suichi? Huh? Huh? Kokichi? And Kyo Ryoma? Look at this! Pupless virgin was eavesdropping on us! <laughs> As an evil supreme leader, I can't pass up the chance to watch you win a jackpot. Uh, where do you heard that from? That's cool. We and I have just arrived as well. Really? You just came here by coincidence? Yeah. This place is pretty suspicious. You better best get it thoroughly. Well, well, we could play some secret game with Sweetie's Metal, can't we? Uh, Ma, Grandma! What are you doing here? Who came up with that rule? Um, I don't know. Mule mentioned that part. Fucking moron! You! The doy! Who else could it be? No, no. But it wasn't me! The fuck you Qu just Quit having around! I don't blame them! I never tell a lie! Cause bears do not lie! Sure. That's not very persuasive. Hey. First of all, Metal is a special kick knickknack I made for the mock-ups! Ready to just only play metal then? Not a special one? There's no reason for you guys to have it! Stick it in the slime machine if you want! So, it's nothing special then. So, we can use it even though it's supposed to be a special item. Why you? What?! You mean I got fake info? Where you found the info from exactly, Mew? Typical useless Mew. You wouldn't get jerked around by fake info like that. <laughs> oh god, Mew, just calm down already. Don't get weird with stuff though or not. Well, it's fine if it was just fake info. There's not the reason I came here, anyway. Guy, what are you doing here? Oh, what are you guys doing here? I thought for sure you stopped playing uh, playing the slots anymore because you keep losing it. Hmm. Uh, Kaito? Why here, Kaito? I thought you sworn off. You sworn off gambling forever. Yeah, that's what he said. Hey. Hold up. Why do you think I came here to gamble? Well. Would one came come here for some other reason? Uh. No, you're wrong. I didn't come here to gamble. I just. Don't understand why the intense instance of Kaito Momoto, looming on the stars, went off. Oh, I see. So you pause that you're winning this time. Kaito, it's good to be confident, but not when you're wrong about everything all the time. What? Huh? You take that back. Don't, Don't you dare underestimate the instant of Kaito Momoto. A challenge of Kukichi. <laughs> <laughs> I accept your challenge. He's so easily manipulated. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to lose. <laughs> so simple, like a moth to flame. Okay. Yeah. 
And let's see how the result goes. Kaito, Kokichi, Korekyo, Ryoma, and I. You win. There's like three Ks and one R. And an S and M. The five of us each use our coins and compete at the slots. Ah, uh, because only I find coins then. I've been roped into it before I even realized it. Nah, who cares? Shuffle side. Come on, man. You might rate the slot machine, so it would have been a fair match. Huh? What? No effing way I ever do that. Yeah, sure. You're gonna do like ticking around with the machine, and you're trying to like trying to win by default. <laughs> it's written all over your face that you would. All right. Well then, let's start. Uh. And it seems to me Kaito has lost. What the heck is going on? And we almost like me really happy. Did something happen? The competition was over in a heartbeat. What? Why? But I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Kaito lost in the last night. Really? Did you use them all? Whoa! That was so awesome, Ryoma! Did we all win the lot? Winning at something like this isn't anything. Uh, against all odds, we have a one in a landslide. Really? He got really lucky. Hey, do you have some sort of trick? Nothing like that. Just about to have What? What? You mean you're lucky? That's just superstition! I don't like someone that I know of! What is it? I cannot ignore the comment. Do not relegate luck to the realm of superstition. <laughs> oh! Makokichi, I sense a tingling. Kyo's about to give an anthropology lecture. Did he? For example, he said a certain word or a phrase will jinx a difficult challenge. This is deeply connected to the Japanese concept of kotodama, the power of words. Nice and green if you want me to go harder, or if you want me to stop. Please. Be silent. Oh, that's really creepy. And me, you better shut up. What? what? I'm just trying to line up the mood. Yeah, not, not the sexual mood. So Kotodama is the belief that words contain power that can influence reality itself. Speaking positive words lead to fortune, and negative words lead to misfortune. Right? Yeah, like when you rephrase a sentence so it doesn't sound as unlucky. Yes, when someone facing a challenge hears a negative word, they might feel it is unlucky. That feeling of misfortune may then affect their focus on motivation. Yes. I see. In that case, perhaps the belief in superstition is what affects them. No. I don't let silly things like that affect me. I win simply because I'm confident in my skills. That's all it takes. That's correct. Yes, certain words have gained, have the power to grant or rob someone to, of such confidence. Words are powerful. Truth to lies may both be fired as powerfully as a bullet from a gun. And see, I guess you can't underestimate luck. Hey, so hey Rama, didn't you have any pre-game rituals or something? Yeah. Well, now that you mention it, when I was playing match. If I enter the court with, with my right foot, it'll go well. So I do the same thing with this slot machine here. So what, you using your foot? <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> I bet your racket bends to your bent in the right too. Listen. Please be silent forever. <laughs> yeah, do you say that, Gio? Stop glaring at me! It was just a joke! Yeah, and just sexual joke again. Alright! Alright! Now give it a try! But you gotta fail again. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a gullible Kaito. Hey, last again! Kaito. Ryoma wins again! Too bad! <laughs> Serves you right! Why don't you give it a tug with your other hand? Dude, just. 
Just stop it, Mew. Luck alone doesn't produce results as consistent as these, Riola. Well, of course. If I was just lucky, I wouldn't be undefeated on the court. You know, Kaito, you don't have any skills when it comes to gambling. Shut up! My skills are suited for the universe! Then what's the point in doing it in the first place? That's why they don't work on gambling. I can't waste it on that. That's why I don't gamble anymore. Yeah. Well, then it's just up. I took a very depressed Kaito back to his room. They returned to mine. Oh damn, got to love a lot for these uh, special event things? Wow. That's a lot. Ko Kokichi and Gonta. Angie and Himigo. And Ryoma. And Maki too. Everyone all over the place. But I shouldn't just leave them be. There has to be something I can do. Yes, I'm going to do something about this. And there's enough free time. But, uh, I'm going to leave it for now. Since it's, it's been about almost like a half past an hour or so. Yep. Strange evidence, but I guess that's how it normally goes, so. Anyways, I'll leave here for now, but. <laughs> I have a feeling, like, for the next one, someone's got to die. <laughs> Even if Blind to do for, like, what Human Code's got done to do for this. Magic show, what is what you want to call it, and uh, I have a sick feeling it might be something crazy. Maybe for it, something bad's gonna happen. I swear to God. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for Dangamapa V3 Killing Harmony. In this video, hit that like button too. Line them up. Yeah, what's the video? Go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.